Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to today's live stream, where we're heading back to Lone Oak Farm to do some work, see where we are, see where things stand. So, going to be doing this for a couple of hours today, and then hopefully later this evening we'll be back onto the uh, the multiplayer map um, over on Greenwich Valley. So, hopefully, two streams today. This is the first. So I'll probably be streaming for the next couple of hours. How things go? Constantly just waiting for the game to load. I've got a couple of mod updates today, <clears throat> which I've just had to install, and I've got a couple of new mods downloaded that I've not used before. So we might end up checking those out. Okay. And where are we? We are midsummer, apparently. Summer. So what have we been doing? Or what was the last thing I did when I was on this map? I would assume it's probably the grass. Was it the grass? Might have been the grass. have a look at the map the map tells me what needs to be done oh, i think we did 34 and 35 then we may have harvested 34 and 35 and 41 needs spraying 34 definitely will need fertilizer spray now after we've mowed it does that mean I collected the grass off of this field, or did I not? <clears throat> Have I left it? I've left it because I wanted to try and see if I could make hay. Didn't I? Hmm. Some of it's kind of turning into hay. Not all of it. Oh well. We'll wait and see. See if it turns to hay. I've, I'm still not fully convinced how getting hay when you're playing with seasons works because i in, in other save games where i'm playing with longer length seasons i'm you know mowing grass one day <clears throat> i'm advancing to the next day i'm then tedding the grass i'm then advancing a third day and i'm wind rowing the grass and it's still not turning into hay after three days and i'm a bit like, mm, it doesn't sound right to me. It should only take a couple of hours for it to turn into, turn into, um, you know, stuff. Right. Um, I'm trying to think, what, what are we doing? I'm a bit lost at the minute as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, it's day two of summer. We haven't got any fields to harvest yet. I don't have a massive amount of money. I've got quite a bit of silage building up. I think if I remember right now, actually, it's starting to come back to me a little bit. In the last video, I was having some issues with a couple of mods. Um, not, not mods as such, but with the game, with the map. I was having some issues not being able to sell stuff at the BGA, if I remember right. If I remember rightly, so what I've done, I've gone in and basically reset the um, i3d file of the um, store back to the vanilla default version that you get when you download the map off the mod hub. I've, normally with BJs, I try to edit the triggers a little bit, the tip trigger and the bail trigger, to make it a little bit easier for getting, you know, unloading your trucks and trailers and stuff. For some reason, on this map, as soon as you start moving the scale of the um, trigger it doesn't work does not like it at all I don't know if I've got any digestate building up anywhere we get some fertilizer if we have liters apparently I 
think we'll probably end up leasing combines again for this year's harvest. Um, that would be my initial first feeling. Because again, they are so expensive. We only use them for like one day. Also, my truck's getting a bit battered. I may have to think about giving it a bit of a wash. I don't think I actually own a pressure washer, do I? I don't think we've ever cleaned an item of equipment on this map. I could be wrong. <laughs> but... Also, for the keen eagle-eyed observers of you out there, you will notice I'm using the latest Beta Build 39. Last time I streamed on this map, we was on Bit Build 37. We've now had two updates since then, so I skipped over Build 38 and I've gone straight to 39. I assume that's for the best. <laughs> 39 probably has some fixes for stuff they implemented in Build 38. It's a drag race. Cool on. This thing doesn't accelerate as good as some of the other vehicles. So we've had updates for the bale storage mod that I use. We've had updates for the wall storage mod. Oops. We've had updates for the pallet storage mod. And then there's also a new global company pallet storage mod that I've downloaded today and installed for the first time. There's also a, um, a global company like bale shredder mod that I've installed as well for the first time. Just in case when I start to feed my cows and stuff I need to shred some of those massive bales that I've got in storage. Try it. We'll get a bit of silage sold to start the episode off. I assume all the animals and everything are okay because it's quarter past 12 in game. Which means I'm actually going to put it on to five times speed. Oh, steady on. Get through this second day of uh, summer a little bit faster. Get into the third day. Hopefully, see then if uh, my, my grass and stuff turns to hay. I know I don't really need to worry about hay too much because obviously I did that subscriber contract for Miss, with Mr. CDP and he sent me 150,000 litres of hay in exchange for 300,000 litres of my pig food. So I've got quite a bit of hay in storage. Um, it should last me a little bit because we don't have that many cows in all fairness <clears throat> although it was funny the other day I was watching one of Mr. CDP's latest episodes of his guys or bird let's play <clears throat> and he happened to comment again that he would like some more pig food because <clears throat> he kind of needs money what he did half of the pig food that I sent him he used for feeding pigs he's kept for feeding pigs the other half he sold, and he was absolutely blown away by how <clears throat> profitable pig food is. How much money you, you make when you sell pig food. So I think he wants another, another load of pig food. Which potentially we can do when we get to harvest time. Um, obviously, 
I thought about what I would like maybe in exchange, and I probably would, would I would not, I wouldn't mind some um, manure and slurry actually this time. So I've got the option of using it to um, make fertilizer. Can always be a uh, good profit for me. There's so much grass in here. <clears throat> I might think about getting a bigger trailer. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat again. I have um, vocal cord dysfunction if people weren't aware, which makes my voice sound as weird as it does. And some days I have a real issue trying to get my vocal cords opening and closing and working properly. And it just feels like something stuck in your throat the whole time that you're trying to clear and get rid of. Because it actually covers your, covers your airway a little bit. Your vocal, if people don't know human anatomy, your vocal cords sit over the top of your windpipe, going down into your lungs, which um, open and close and vibrate to generate the sound as you speak, as air comes in and out of your, your lungs. For me, a lot of the time, those vocal cords don't open and close properly. Like I say, it's, it's terrible. Because I feel perfectly fine and I've been working, wandering around all the house all morning. I now sit down to do a live stream and, and now it kicks in. I don't know whether that's a nerves thing. I get a little bit nervous when I come to stream because obviously I'm talking to complete strangers. Also, at several points in the stream, if I do disappear for a couple of minutes, um, don't be alarmed, don't panic. Um, it's just I've got I've got the house to myself today. Everyone else has gone out, so a I need to keep an eye on the dogs, make sure they keep getting the out to go to the toilet. They don't wee all over the carpet and the floors downstairs. And also, for the last couple of days, I've been dealing with a. Uh, Slightly upset tummy, which means I keep needing to dash off to the toilet to have a poo. <laughs> and that's probably far too much information for everybody, but yeah, that keeps happening. Um, I've got some tablets that I'm taking to try and stop that and relieve that situation. Try and bind me up a bit bung me up, block me up, but they haven't kicked in yet this morning, so if I suddenly disappear for a few minutes and the stringers they require, do not panic, just that I may be uh, in the bathroom. Unfortunately, when it the uh, I get very little warning that I need to go, so I might not have time to switch and put the Be Right Back screen on. One of the things I, I, I did I have just remembered as well, the last time we was on this map, I sold off our tanker truck, didn't I? I do not believe we've got a tanker. I'm guessing at this moment in time, no way for me to bring. No way for me to bring the digestate from the uh, BGA here back to the farm. Hmm. What do you think, do you think about it? We may have to make a purchase today then for a tanker. There's so few options when it comes to tankers and liquid transporters in the game. 
you end up generally just using stuff from the um, LS mod pack thing. LSFM mod um, tanker pack. Nice to have some more fluid tankers and transporters in game. I know we've got the Man TGS tanker, which I could possibly use on this save because I'm not using course play. But I can't use that truck on other saves where I do use course play because it conflicts with course play. Because the Man TGS tanker mod has got, unfortunately, custom vehicle types and specialisations. Because, you know, the, the guy that made that mod decided to just, you know, pull specialisations and types out of his ass rather than use what was already in the game. And there's no way for a mod team like Courseplay to actually um, be able to This is a good little truck. We're not getting a bit low on diesel fuel. We might have to fill her up a bit later on. Buy some fuel. One of the things I haven't checked, which we will do the next time we come back to the farm, we'll go in to our um, shed over there and have a look at the bale stacks because they have been updated. And they should now have little covers on them which you can toggle on and off. So, for example, if you put them outside, make it a little bit more realistic you can have these little wooden like shelters over the bale stack area but the great thing is you can toggle them on and off using i think it's the middle mouse button which is great if you've put the stacks inside a building and don't need the little covers i think that's a great feature by the um, author Unfortunately, what I haven't seen yet from the mod author is an update for the egg storage mod that allows you to put pallets into it. Pallets of eggs if you're not using the little boxes. So we'll have a nip to the store as well before we head back to um, the farm after dropping off this load of silage. 
We'll have a look at what anchor options we've got available to us. Um, Because obviously the Mercedes tanker I had was just glitching. Um, the Hooklift trailer that I had, just, its unloading was very buggy. So um, I kind of uh, abandoned that for the time being. I might end up. I might just have to bite the bullet and say we've got to have a normal, traditional one. Normal traditional uh, tanker, the same one we use pretty much on every map. One of these with a truck. Bit of a disappointment. Like I say, I thought that was going to be really useful on the back of the hooklift truck, but it it, it it lifted. You know, it would lift up a little bit, empty bit, and then it would go back down, and you'd have to keep lifting it up. It, it would. You'd have to unload it in stages, and it was just a pain in the backside. So the only other option is going into and getting one of these, I think. Not sure how I feel about that. Because it's like, I've already got two man trucks. I've already got this man truck. Do I really want another man truck on the farm? have a driver and I'll have a thing. Trouble is, with this truck, this truck doesn't work with the follow me mod, does it? Um, already established. So I wouldn't be able to get the um, thing to drive home. Let's have a look. Truck. Chip tuning. It's a shame it's got the uh, we'll go for one of them. And a tanker. It's gonna cost me 136,000 billion pounds though. Um don't want that one because it's got the creepy lady in it. And she freaks me out. I don't. The trouble is, it's either I could use that, which is you know sixty-five thousand liters, easy capacity. You know, it's nice, it's quick. A bit of a design on it, I suppose. Buy one of them. No call just to open or close.
I want to die if they are 60,000 meters. I'll we'll drive this back to the farm. Our little digestate storage tank. Check on a few other bits around the farm. We'll come back for the uh, tipper, the kipper, tipper, 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 kipper. Good thing is, we've now got cows and we've got um, pigs producing slurry. Brakes on this are rubbish. <laughs> that made no attempt to slow down. Greatest acceleration in the world for a vehicle that's supposed to top out at 110 miles an hour. There's actually quite a bit in there, actually. There's quite a bit already in there. We've got a lot built up into storage. Don't want to be too keen. Back to the farm, we'll check, as I say, we'll check on the bale storages, see if they're all okay, and um, we'll, uh, following the updates, and then I'll uh, check on the grass again, see if we've got hay yet, and we're ready to actually bale hay. not check on the animal situation one of the things i've been thinking of doing i've been thinking maybe of adding in some sheep but rather than use the pen on the map which is obviously quite a long way away from the farm is to actually put a sheep pen in somewhere here at the farm you know we've got the pigs here We've got the cows over there, maybe put the um, sheep somewhere down there, possibly. Um.
Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I do not have uh, a special anymore on this. Could be wrong. Feeling I never bought one, you know. remember what it would even come under to be honest with you i've even i know the the real ones in the miscellaneous section but i've got a portable one somewhere got it installed problem I might not have it. In, I might not even have it installed on this flipping save. I can't remember what saves I've installed what mods on. <laughs> it's the problem when you play multiple multiple maps. Um, anyway, quick check of our bales, storages. I think what we do. Yeah, look, you get these little covers. Look. them on and off. Now, check the hay situation. It's it's kind of there, but it's not there. Not quite fully transformed into stuff very disappointing we'll, we'll leave it a bit longer we'll serve quite a bit of the day in fact actually you know what we'll do we'll check, quickly check the animals pretty sure I've been around and fed them and watered them today and stuff we haven't got any total mixed ration, unfortunately. What we'll do is we'll speed up time a bit. Fast forward a day. Still didn't turn into uh, slurry, did it? Day three of summer, we've got nothing to harvest yet. But I forgot what at what time the game does its um update. It updates the fields and stuff. It doesn't quite do it at the time you would expect. No food. Feed our chickens. some barley this time. 
better week yesterday or last time we was in the game. So quick to go down and check on the chickens. Well, sorry, we check the cows, see what they need. Chickens eat a lot of food. I think the cows drink a lot of water too. If we need a little bit of hay and silage, we can we can kind of work that out at some point. What we need to do is go down and visit the chicken. Uh, the, the I'll have a run down there. I could have bought myself a little gator or something, I suppose, for driving down to the um, pigs. I know I've got the general lee, but it seems a bit excessive. <laughs> doing on the pigs anyway they really are desperate for food got in total can't remember um, I bought some new ones only got quite a few in me little pig pen here I've got about 160 I think possibly maybe less all right we best get them some food They're getting big and they're eating me out of house and home. Right now I'll continue to use up the, uh, the stuff in here. Silo. Give these wheat this time. Soybeans, canola, or sunflowers, then. Canola. There soybeans today. A load of it.
I've got 80 pigs then, so I've got 40 of each variety. Well, that makes a bit of sense. We've got quite a bit of slurry. 10,000 litres of slurry pile up. Now's it got a good bit of slurry going on. There's a follow. WV Country Boy 18. Thank you for the follow, Country Boy 18. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Right, let's, let's get out of there. Back to the farm. We'll quickly check the grass again just to see if it has um, turned to hay. Not turned to hay. Bye, crikey. Uh, I may end up tedding this again. I might just come down with a tedder and see if I can't force it. Can't force the situation. Sixty. That's probably a little bit overkill. Seventy. Seven R. Seven R would probably do it. I think. Let's grab the tedder. Ted the grass. Leave it to turn to height, and then we know it. What I've been doing is I've been cutting the grass, I've been tedding it, I've been leaving it for a couple of hours and then I've been going down and uh, windrowing it, but maybe it's got to be completely turned to hay before you windrow it. I think if you windrow it, you kind of mess it up. Ooh. Big tyres on the uh, fence. Okay, so a couple of the fields have got darker, so we could end up having to mow 39. Could be the first time. What's the weather forecast? Is it going to rain? Isn't. Potentially a good thing. Just head the grass again. Although, to be fair to me, it looked like some of that grass was already fairly loose and it still hasn't turned. So... I must admit, I'm noticing it across a couple of, a couple of saves that I'm playing on different maps with seasons. I am noticing trying to get hay is like trying to get chicken's teeth, you know? I know the devs didn't want it to behave like the, vin um, the vanilla game where the second you drive over grass with a tether it instantly turns to hay. They did want an element that you have to wait a certain period of time for it to dry. But I just don't think grass is drying. The only way I can get grass to dry is to put it in an actual grass dryer.
I mean, I thought, I mean, I would have thought the temperature, I mean, look, we're nearly 20 degrees ground temperature, 16 degrees air, I would have thought it would be plenty warm enough to dry this grass out. And it's been laid here a couple of days. What I probably ought to do as well, quickly, is just check what I've actually got in my silos. Make sure I'm not sitting on any crops that I should be selling. Seventy-seven thousand liters of sunflower. Seventy-nine thousand liters of soybeans. Uh, I've missed soybeans. Soybeans I should have sold yesterday. Ah, crap. Whereas sunflowers is a little bit later on. So I can I can leave the sunflowers for a bit, but I missed the I missed selling the soybeans. Darn it. I'm gonna hang on to them then for another year. have twice as many to sell next year. It's a shame you can't set up a little like in get like you can't have some like little in-game reminders that pop up and say, hey, remember to do this. Remember to do this. Because I forget, because I'm not looking at that screen constantly, I'm just playing, I tend to lose track of when we're supposed to sell off the crops. And soybeans is the weird one, because the soybeans is always at its best price before you can harvest them, whereas all the other crops, their best price comes after you harvest. I think sunflowers is the one where you literally have the best price that literally the day you're harvesting it. So the minute you get it off the field, you want to be taking it and selling it. Parked in there with a standard trailer. Full uh, of fertilizer at this point. How many pallets can I get on my rack? Not many. Probably do some seed though. Some seed pallets. Well. Get the uh, tractor. Uh, 
660. Nice little machine. Three pallets at a time. Two. I make sure my rack is full. Not the option, haven't we? At least I know then in my head, back of my mind, where we are. I know what I'm allowed to sell then. If if I can if I can get my storage rack full, everything else that's lying around can be used for um and sell it. Another thing I'm going to check as well um, I need to grab one of the 960s to test this I think I'm, I'm sure I saw somewhere somebody with the seasons mod they've they've actually added grass destruction in if you drive on a field with grass and it destroys it which to me is not making much sense why would you have crop destruction on grass? Giants patched that out because they said it was a mistake when the game first launched. Now Seasons have apparently added it back in. You won't see crop destruction with these tyres because these are crop friendly. I can drive all over the grass with this tractor and it isn't going to make a blind bit of difference. If I get my 960, which doesn't have crop tyres, check. If that's the case and they've implemented grass destruction in one of the latest updates, uh, it's going to make it a little bit interesting for me because I'm not going to be able to take shortcuts <laughs> across the grass to get to and from the farm. In here, isn't it, 960? These tyres definitely are not crop friendly. Quickly. Crop destruction is on. Yes, it is. The test. I don't think that's destroying the crop. No. I don't get that. Unless what I saw, the post I saw recently, when somebody was complaining about an issue with crop destruction with grass, I wonder if they're using a another mod. They must be using some mod or something that enables it. Which probably does conflict with seasons. Um, but yeah, I thought I, I'd be surprised if seasons implemented grass destruction. Seeing as a couple of the devs who work on seasons actually work for giants, and as I say, giants patched crop grass destruction out of the game because they said it was a mistake for it to be in there in the first place. Yes, 
we're going to go sell some more stuff. Because I'm literally waiting for hay to appear on that field and it just looks like it's never going to appear. I could go and sell some more silage. In the summer, you are pretty much just carting. You're doing a lot of carting. What I would, like I say, if this if this flipping kipper more actually worked with follow me, I could have a couple of them and it would make life a lot more easy. I could have a couple of them driving in convoy down to a sell point to sell stuff. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, this truck does not work with the follow me mod. Other vehicles just don't detect it, and it can't detect other vehicles, so I don't know whether the um, the, uh, the mod author has implemented like AI stuff. I don't have any trailers bigger than this. This is the literally the largest capacity I've got. All my trailers are like 60,000 litres at the minute. So, um, obviously there's an option down the road to get one of those black sheet modding tippers. Which would give me quite a substantial increase. I toyed with the idea of maybe the suit, um, the Skerrit, Super B, the Merit, there it is. But I didn't have a lot of joy with that mod when I tr like tried using it on Fenton Forest. It just didn't seem to load. The trailer just didn't seem to work. It didn't seem to unload when you got to a sell point, which was obviously a big problem. And also, if you disconnected the two halves of the trailer, um, the rear part sort of fell through the map. <laughs> and it's like, okay, now I can't reconnect it. But the problem with that is those bottom hopper dumping trailers aren't going to help me a great deal with some of the sell points on... Certainly for like doing silage runs, it's not going to help me. I need something that's rear tip. Because there's obviously no way I can get a hopper over that silage pit in the... Um, at the store at the um, BGA down in. Let's go to get out of the way. did add a slurry cell point you can probably just see it down there mm. I'll just hop out of that while it's unloaded I added a slurry cell point here in front of the main thing because I originally when I was having trouble in the last stream tipping slurry and unloading me slurry I thought I unloaded slurry here I was thinking oh it makes sense you'd come and tip it here into this tank here rather than tip it here but no you do tip your slurry in here um for me though the trigger just wasn't working and then when I tried selling some silage a little bit later on I found I couldn't sell that either and I was like ah I've broke the BGA to uh, edit that and fix that, which I have done. But in the mean, 
meantime, to solve the issue of not being able to get rid of my slurry, I did put in the slurry cell point mob thing. Slurry trader. So we do have that down here at the BGA. Obviously the BGA offers a lot more money for slurry than the slurry trader. But at the time, because I couldn't actually figure out how to get rid of slurry, it was like, you know, I just need to get it sold. I had tons of it <laughs> from the pigs. Because I've been collecting it for like a year. <laughs> gonna get up to the shop again. We're gonna have a look at trainers. As much as this is nice, I don't necessarily like the fact I've got to keep making five billion and one journeys. On mods from this Winston fella. But oh good. I think his, his mods are a little bit overpowered. I think they're a little bit OP. Some of the capacities. Million litres on that thing. Yeah, not quite. Bin. Very high tipper if it is. I do like the idea of this mole unit though. I might be tempted to try one of these on the farm when I do feel 39. An 18 meter wide mowing unit. Anyway, trailers. I've got to walk away from the trigger. Power tube. If I could get a class with 90,000, which would be a 30,000 litre increase. See, I like the idea of the Merit Super B, but like I say, I've just had issues with this mod on other maps. It's just not working properly for me. Probably going to be one of these. I could make that in main colour class white. Not necessarily so sure about that. Nice big trailer boards on it. Nice wide tyres. The top's a bit of an issue because that's a different colour from everything else. I could see me going for something like that with maybe one of the scanners pulling it
Give that a whirl. We'll get one of them Scanyas that I looked at a little while back. Uh, that one. Take one of them. Oh, I'm spending money like there's no tomorrow. No, oh, this requires death. Again, we'll come back for the kipper in a minute. Whoa. I'm trying to forget which side the traffic drives on sometimes in America. Ouch. Sorry about that. problem is this isn't going to be great for selling using for selling crops at some sell points that are covered why well, i'm going to need to keep the kipper because obviously selling it like agri xjs and that um low note the low note place um i've got to go inside to sell crops and stuff there so this will hit the roof Definitely keep the man tipper for that reason. Put the cover open. Little quick be right back. Break for a second. Whilst I head down to do and see to my little doggies. Be back in a moment. Jet. They seem to be okay. They don't want to go out. The dogs don't. <laughs> well. Get this and uh, empty it. Good now, walk downstairs. 
come back and ah breath. Nothing's ready to harvest, nothing's ready to go. Interesting. I literally have to drive into a bunker. thousand litres that should keep the BGA happy for a couple of days and should mean we get a little bit of money this evening yeah clock strikes midnight might have a look at what the fertiliser price is I might be able to take a trailer load of fertiliser somewhere today and make some money well could be very useful. Oh. Yeah, that's the one thing you have got to watch for. Taking that corner a little bit too tight. This is a big trailer. Ready for that. And it's probably a trailer that's probably a little bit too big for this map. Certainly, if I was playing on Greenwich Valley, I don't, I don't, I haven't kind of worked out what we're going to do on Greenwich Valley yet because that map is really tight. Um. So, uh, trying to uh, figure out how we're going to do um, bulk selling of crop and stuff. I have not a clue. Too high, is it? Fill that up. What we'll do is we'll go and bring our kipper back. Which has turned off now. I have extended the time in the settings for how long it takes before a vehicle will automatically turn off. I think it's like 6,000 seconds or something now. Close to 60. <laughs> or the distance from the vehicle. I don't know whether it's actual time or whether it's counted in dis like distance from the vehicle before it automatically turns off 
but whatever it was I've increased it from 60 in the settings to 6000 so vehicles don't turn off quite as frequently now as they used to shame I can't change that setting on servers dedicated server sometimes on that I notice still you jump out of a vehicle and it instantly turns off even though I don't have the automatic engine stop start thing enabled ever there's no reason why a vehicle should turn off if I just pop out like that if I do that on 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 in multiplayer the vehicle stops every time drive over it probably park this in the shed if I can squeeze it in behind the uh, black sheep modding trailer nicely behind this tractor too this thing's flashing away because obviously now I'm emptying it has restarted production it's still not full when we come to sell this where are we going Hollister stores it's probably the best place I know it's not the highest price low note company would be the highest price but I got a feeling I wouldn't be able to tip this in there because of we'll see right won't we, we can... all we can do is try People are going to probably get really upset at me for having a Scania truck on an American map. They would probably be happier if I had like a um, uh, a Peterbilt or a uh, the other company, the other famous American truck company. I should know this because I play a I play American Truck Simulator. And I own one of them. Begins with W, doesn't it? Peterbilt and then there's what's the other company what's the other truck oh boy I mean mine's gone blank now what's the other truck company American truck company in ATS there's Peterbilt and there is it has the international the w900 kenwood kenwood that's it kenwood kenwood trucks i should probably have some kenwood and peterbilt trucks for this map being american and not a scania but unfortunately i didn't plan that far ahead but i've not got any peterbilts or kenwoods installed on this map for the next stream possibly i will look at adding some i have got some I've got some downloaded because I've used them on Welker Farms when I was looking at playing Welker Farms. But, um, damn. Apart from that, not really uh, done a great deal with trucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of course, one of the things to also consider with Black Sheep Trailer. Oh, oh well done. Yeah, yeah, there's a truck driving across the road and you decide to do that. You decide to park right on when you can see I'm having an issue getting through this gate. AI, traffic. Maybe I'll be able to tip in here. In fact, I probably can because I doubt it will walk that high. No 
okay, it did go up higher than I thought. But at least I got out of the shed. That's made us 427 grand. Nice. And over here is a new placeable. I don't know whether I showed you this last time I was on stream. Hot. Diesel production by Stevie. So canola and sunflowers go in. Diesel fuel comes out. There's an opportunity. Because what price is diesel on the map? Hollister stores. Agri XJS is offering quite a good price for diesel. I got I've got canola and sunflowers, haven't I? something to keep her eye on. Canola and sunflowers can be used to make fuel. Tell you what. You're not going to get out of here. I think it's a little bit tight. It's a good job I didn't road train it. I definitely wouldn't have got in and out of that field. Over a million. So I can go get a mowing. I could go get that 80 meter mowing unit. I could lease it, I suppose, rather than buy it. Give it a test. Test drive it. See what it's like. Get on the back of a 960 and go to work. Oh, we've got some hay over here. Off? I didn't pick up. Oh, that there. We'll go down and check the grass over here. to me. On the chat turn or anything. We'll do. We'll call up our store and get them to bring us down one of these. Demo. Pretty sure you can uh, deliver that. Right, we'll grab the uh, we'll grab the 960 out of here. Wouldn't it's only had 0 0.3 hours on it, so plenty of time. This bad boy. is huge I don't know if it's got any like work mode or anything like that any like 
swath dropping doesn't look like it off the top of my head what I can see down with a tether in a bit go over it with the tether What I like about it as well is when you turn corners, it doesn't miss bits. It doesn't leave spiky bits sticking up. A lot of the mowers, when you turn, they leave gaps, like little strips. I hate that. <laughs> you end up with all these non-mow bits on your fields. close the help menu because there is no like I say option to swath drop I wouldn't expect it on a header unit like this in all fairness I don't need to go all the way up to the road because obviously the field as you can see is actually ends the actual proper grass field ends where my tractor is the uh, the field left of my tractor as you look at it on screen or your left my left is um just um painted grass so it doesn't matter really too much about me getting that but... right shall we do a bit of a, a GPS inch I noticed this on the um on the actual swadro header thing. Um no that's not right. Um rotate that please.
I wonder if this will turn nicely into hay then. You can come over this with the tether too. Tree. George, George, George of the jungle, watch out for that tree. Jungle, friend to you and me. fastest mower in the world but it's certainly the widest we've got in game or available to us in game Eco mode. Ooh, not a big fan of eco modes on anything. <laughs> I think I um, talked about this as well the other evening when I was streaming on, um, as I say, the new multiplayer map, Greenwich Valley. Fast tractors have a slightly weird little thing. Whereby, when you are driving them, and you put on the indicators, there are no lights anywhere on the dashboard. Tell you that you've got an indicator on. There's nothing on the dash. flashing lights anywhere that I can see. That's weird. Hey, there's no way of knowing if you've left your indicators on. <laughs> I'm going to do another quick pass just down here because trees are a little bit close for my liking.
what I also like about it is that when you raise and lower this thing, it does seem to raise and lower all the units at the same time. Whereas I know it's on things like the crone mower that we typically always use. Um, there is a little bit of a delay. Or is that the op opposite way round? It's the opposite way round. The front units go down slightly before the back ones. So I, su I assume if he was using this with a worker, he wouldn't end up dropping the unit on the field behind him. And again, you wouldn't have issues whereby you end up with bits at the end of each row that haven't been mowed. Because on, obviously on the chrome mowers and stuff, they all lift up at the same time. Front unit, the middle units, the rear units. Even though, like I say, the middle and rear, rear units haven't finished mowing yet. Oh, I like this. I like this unit. It's probably, in all fairness, I got it and installed it for Greenwich Valley. For the multiplayer server however i think it's possibly too big for the fields on that map but it's going to be perfect for here on um lone oak oh well Yeah, I'm a fan of this mowing unit. I am a definite fan of this mowing unit. We may be buying one of these long term. I know I thought about getting one of the big mowers. But, um... I do like the idea of this. Because the thing is, we could leave the grass as it is behind the machine and just let it dry. I don't think technically we have to ted it, do we, if we mow with this, because it's not producing a swath.
I like that mower. We may end up keeping that. Keeping buying one of these. That was a nice little demo. We'll bring this back down to the farm then. Unhook it here. We'll let the, uh, uh, the store know that they can come and collect that. I'm almost ready to give up on field 34 and 35. I don't think I'm ever going to see any grass on that field. I'm sorry. Hey, not grass. <laughs> We've got grass on that field. That's the problem. We don't want grass. We want hay. unit is thirteen, so yeah, that's It's definitely the warmest part of the day now, so I would have thought this would have dried ever so quick.
This is a lot of grass. I'll do is I'll probably come up the, the strip to the left and then at that point I probably won't Ted anymore we'll see we'll leave half the field tedded half the field untedded and see which half of the field turns to hay fastest So we'll leave it like that. See what um, happens. How quickly this this grass turns to hay compared to the half that hasn't been tedded. That's supposed to be a good drawing day. Say, with the temperatures being what they are, I thought this would be perfect.
What do you want on my GPS? No grass? Baylor there. Let's go grab me six R. Which has currently got a load of straw in it. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there was a strip of hay on this field, wasn't there? Vacuum that up. <laughs> That's now at 98%. Can I unload that now then? Theoretically, I should be able to. I can't unload that bale. Hmm. Try and get a bit of grass. We should have a bail and empty out of this. There we go. One straw bail. for a few more days don't hurt can it oh this machine is still rapidly processing away bit of grass and stuff in there we did fertilizer maker is working as well
plenty of bales and stuff in there should we need to we've got to think about getting a mixing wagon at some point to uh do our cows Ooh. So we've got we've got 60 cows 30 of each limousines and i think we've got sailors haven't we yeah the beef cows we're just doing beef cows on this map not worried about milk production baby cows Moisture 10%. Cow moisture 6%. Be reading what's late. It only seems to be reading the actual field, not the actual um, material. You know what I mean? Like when it's in a bale, it tells you what it is. But when it's just grass loose laid on the field, it reads the field status. Lovely grass. Hopefully, get some hay out of this. Tomorrow will be autumn, which means hopefully, harvest window. Forecast looking. So, tomorrow is going to be a sunny day. Perfect. Drawing potential apparently is nil poir. <laughs> but at least it's not looking like it's going to rain, which is going to be good for me when I'm harvesting, because I don't need it to rain. liquid fur have we got loads right, we've still got 22,666 litres of fertiliser in the old machine maybe putting some more fertiliser in there whatever this machine makes we'll put into there make a bunch and then we can uh Which is uh, liquid fertilizer selling for on the map? Loads, look. Loads at Hollister stores. Uh, well, let's go sell some liquid fertilizer. A bumper payday, shall we? There's the new bale chipper mod.
chicken food, horse food, pig food, pig foot storage. Oh, we could store pig's feet in there, apparently. Liquid fertilizer storage, herbicide storage, lime storage, seed storage, fertilizer storage. A little bit shame that all the models seem to use the exact same building apart from the herbicide. Liquid fertilizer. Right, we're off. I'm off to... Where was it? Blown out company. Before the price drops too much. Monster stalls is this one here. If we come in here and tip our liquid fertilizer, Nice bit of income, 300 odd grand. Check the price, so five, five, seven, that's really tumbling now at Hollister. It's on the rise at um, AgriXJS. We may go to AgriXJS, I think. I'm a bit more appreciative of the price.
Well, to be fair, by the time I've driven to Hollister, the price won't have dropped that much, will it? Um, back to Hollister. Price Agri isn't climbing fast enough to me to drive there, for, for me to drive there. Whereas even if I get to Holl um, Hollister and the price has dropped, I can just go across the road to Lone Oak, which is still offering over five grand. Which is definitely not a bad thing. Woeful breaks. Woeful breaks. This will enable us to see what we get less this time because the price has gone down. But at least I'm selling it in one go as opposed to two separate goes. 361. So yeah, when the price is its highest, you probably get three, three, three hundred and seventy-five thousand for a tanker. But Let's drop it in the fertilizer tank. Looks like the seed machine to me has run out of um,
I'll load that back up. Let me put some water in it as well. Do that, we can do that. We'll quickly grab some water. Empty that one in there. No, apparently that's full. 50,000 litres of water. That's got plenty of water in it. The animal's doing. The cows are okay. We'll fill them up with hay and silage tomorrow. We're not going to bother doing that today. Can't see me getting any more work done today. And the grass still hasn't um, turned. Right, so, you know, I'm a bit confused now because, like I say, that's been tedded, that grass, and it still hasn't turned into hay. Seems like I'm struggling to get hay on this map. Oh, with seasons. And this lot down here hasn't moved, hasn't changed at all. I don't think what it is I'm doing wrong to not unfortunately get Is. We'll back this one out of here today. Get some hay to put into the uh, cows. Probably some in here. No. Wrong pipe.
at just over 30,000 litres, that ought to fill the cows. And then. I do love the fact I can tip back and drive down here into it. any messages from the chickens about eggs yet so I'm gonna guess they're pretty full I'll go get some wheat for them today the chickens because they had barley yesterday Cows, 80,000 litres of slurry. We've got 22,000. Head over there, though. Might give them a treat today. How much pig food have we got? Over here in pig food land. 383,333 litres. That's a lot of pig food. I'll tell you what, if Mr. Sealy Peedles wants some, I'm well equipped to supply him another 300,000 litres. <laughs> if he really wants it. This is the finest pig wood. You boys hungry? Killed absolutely every bar. That's nice. I like that. Like that a lot. Right, quick look at the map. 
still apparently don't have any fields to harvest, do we? Cows, so the grass is growing at the cows. Rain today. Oh, I need to change that. That was something I forgot. Change. When I updated to um when I updated to Seasons Build 39, I forgot to go in and set it so that seed has a high drought resistance. Because I don't want my crop pack I don't want germination failed and patchy crop failure when I'm seeding. That makes no sense to me. Just because it's a bit dry in the spring. Okay, so we've run out of uh, fertilizer material. Done. Digest ain't mate. Much as I like this little truck, I do think I'm probably going to need to get the bigger one. The uh, The standard LSFM universal tank, 100,000 litres. I can use the Scania with it as well, then. This is just a little bit fiddly. Also be more useful when I'm doing um, second slurry to sell. Mm. So we may end up selling this back. <laughs> Unfortunately, not quite what I was looking for. Sorry in there. Doing well. I'm just really disappointed. We're not getting any... Um... I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted to grab the loading wagon and just loading wagon that. Because it's not going to um, dry, I don't think. Put it in the hay dryer, that's not... I could manually put it in the hay dryer. That's not going to be an issue. I think seasons could do with having a a bit of a tweak and an update so that grass regardless of how what length of seasons you're playing on whether it's three days six days nine days 12 days 24 days whatever grass has you know a set time like X hours after you have mowed the grass, cut the grass, it turns to hay. And then uh, implement some additional checks and stuff. So like if you ted it, it decreases that by half. Um, 
and at least have a script that definitely makes the grass turn to hay. I mean, there's little bits of hay mixed in with the grass, but it's enough. This is my US 8R. US spec John Deere 8R. So this will uh, definitely handle the loading wagon okay.
That's why I bought myself, bought myself a um, grass dryer, wasn't it? Because it's just unreliable. So unreliable. Waiting for the grass to manually dry. Grass fill level. Okay. Working down. Got plenty of wood chips in there. Worry about that element too much. Done. This field hoovered up. A little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. But it never turned to hay. Despite the fact the grass has been laid here for three days. So uh, we'll just have to use the grass dryer instead. Bits of grass out there still. Starting to look a slightly lighter shade of green now though. And maybe it was on the verge of turning, but I couldn't really wait much longer. That's the only downside to it. I couldn't really afford to sit and wait for the grass to make its mind up. Get the tanker. loading wagoning that's just a regular trailer mm. 
quick run over yonder. Definitely haven't got anything to harvest apart from more grass, have we? No. up the liquid fertilizer slowly we've reached a bit of a moment now where we have anything to do What I will probably do, as it's nearly 2pm in the afternoon, is say thank you everybody for watching at this point. I will be back again another time with some more of this Lone Oak save when we will definitely be into the harvest phase of seasons. Um, the good thing is we've got money now. We've got some good money. We've got nearly 2 million in the bank. So I'm feeling quite happy about that. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now.